Hello friends, Miss Natalie here, and I wanted to show you something that you can do with the uh, Select Shapes tool when you are in a vector layer, working with those vector shapes. Well, first of all, you can select tools, uh, shapes rather, and move them, but we've already covered that. Um, this has to do with what happens when you go over to the Tool Options tab. Um, so these are the options that you are given to select shapes. You can change the uh, size of the shape. You can change which node is the main one, which is kind of exciting. Um, you can also change that outline, the thickness. You're like, you know what? I know I made it. 15 but I'd rather have it at say 10 that's cool you can change the line styles what that's a crazy line no thank you no I don't think so um, and you can also change the color so maybe I want to make this a pink heart because of course I do I can choose any of the recent colors or I can, of course, choose one from the color selector. Maybe I'll make it a more pinky purple. All right. And look, my outline is now pink. And if I want to go a step further, I can choose the fill and I can fill it oh, in with any color I want, like maybe pink or even a gradient. Um, and that gradient lets me choose the color I start with and uh, and it lets me uh, fill it like with that might even let me choose a color to end with maybe maybe not anyway you might want to change your oh yeah we could we could Probably, yeah, oh yeah, look at all those different gradients you can choose. We could definitely choose one of those. Oh, that's cool. What? That's crazy. All right, anyway, maybe we just wanted a full color. That's fine, too. Oh, and we were going to change that. There we go. All right, so we've got a pink heart, and you can do that with any shape you have. Um, so, yeah, oh, I don't think I want that pink, though. Hey, yellow? I don't know. Or a blue? Hmm. And the line? Changing that to blue too. Look at that. All right. So, um that's that's all I wanted to show you about that. I think it's pretty neat and it's uh one way to um be able to change your mind in after you've um made your color choice or after you've drawn your shapes all right go play around with uh, changing the colors and the lines in your vector shapes and go make some art